Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 394. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 394 to 396. In this video, we want to look at the if function and conditional formatting together to get a particular cell to show the word warning and have it appear red. We want two things that are going to indicate we have to check out this record. And what's going to be the trigger if any of these values are less than the hurdle. So the first thing we'll do is the if function to show the word warning equals if a logical test that comes out true or false, I'm going to say is one cell to my le left less than the hurdle. Now this hurdle, when I copy the formula down, needs to be locked. So I'm going to hit the F4 key twice to put the dollar sign just in front of the row reference because we're copying it down across the rows. Logical test, it can only come out true or false. I type a comma. And what's the value we want to slap in the cell if it's true? In quotes, because it's a word. Warning. Be careful. If you misspell this word, spell check won't catch it because it's inside of a formula. So you can always hit the F7 key. Uh, let's see if I can hit the F7 key. Oh, and it spell checked and it says I didn't spell it wrong. That's the value if true, comma, the value if false. I'm going to put a double quote for blank. No space in between the double quotes. Close parentheses. Now, I've highlighted all of the cells. And I'm working in the active cell. So to populate all of these cells, I hold Control and tap Enter. Now, we're going to do conditional formatting. Now what do we do? We had, I'm going to come up here to the formula bar. The thing that's in the cell is warning. So I'm going to copy this. And actually, uh, I'll show you two ways to do this. And it will be interesting because it will relate the true false part of the if function to what happens in the conditional formatting dialog box. Now I've highlighted all the cells. And when you're doing conditional formatting, the formula we're going to use to trigger the red formatting is actually going to be copied into all of these cells, but in memory. So just as when we create a formula in the cells, you have to be aware of where the active cell is. The active cell is right there. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Alt O D, for conditional formatting. That works in all versions. I'm going to click New Rule. In earlier versions, you have to click that first text box. I'm going to click on Formula, and then I'm going to click right here. now. <laughs> What's the formula? If this cell is equal to warning. So I'm going to click on that cell, the active cell, and I'm going to hit the F4 key twice, or three times to get rid of all those dollar signs, equals, and then I'm going to paste that warning, right? And if this is this is a true, this is a logical for, formula, a true false formula, it can only give you a true or false, which is exactly what the conditional formatting dialog box needs when you use a formula. I'm going to click Format, and I'm going to click uh, Fill Red. That's a dark color value-wise, so I have to click uh, Light Colored Font also. Now, remember this, because I'm going to show you a second way to do this right here. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. And sure enough, and I have this randomized. So if I hit F9, anytime we get a cell over here less than um, uh, 30, it's showing warning. Now, think about this. The if function is looking to the right to this cell right here and slapping a warning in the cell. But the conditional formatting is looking at the warning and slapping red on this. But watch this. There's another way we could do this. Let me just, um, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to uh, put it in edit mode, copy this right here, control C, escape. And then I'm going to come right here and I'm going to put it into edit mode F2 and control V. So I have the same formula. I'm going to copy it down, double click and send it down. And watch this. Instead of telling conditional formatting to slap red when it sees warning, we're just going to use the same exact test that the if function is using. I'm going to hit F2. This right here. Watch this. I'm going to copy this. Is that a true false? Yeah. The whole point of the first argument in if is that is a true false formula. So copy, escape. Now I'm going to highlight, active cell, Alt O D. I'm going to click on New Rule, Formula, and I'm going to slap that formula right there. I'm going to say Equals, and then slap it right there, and then Red. 
and then font. Okay, so what we're seeing is that there's two ways to do this when you're dealing with the if and the uh, conditional formatting. The first one, conditional formatting, was looking at the cell value, but this one, the conditional formatting is looking at the exact same thing as the if function. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.